okay uh, for this course uh, we are going to have uh, seven uh, assignments which is uh, listed out in your uh, course uh, handout also so in your own uh, free time uh, you need to uh, design this in lt spice and keep saving the schematic uh, as and when i ask you to submit uh, you can uh, put it into a uh, folder zip it and uh, submit it okay so uh, this is like uh, in, in lt spice you need to design uh, uh, a schematic and simulate d latch modified d latch using transmission gates now uh, master slave flip flop and all so th these first three theory we have uh, learned till now a uh, rest of the theory as and when the theory is covered in the uh, lecture classes you can uh, do this at your own uh, free time and uh, keep the schematics everything ready as and when i ask you to submit you should be able to uh, submit it okay so let me uh, close this out here and uh, let us take on uh, some uh, simulations and uh, see what we have learned today so uh, initially in today's class we first uh, spoke about sr latch so this is an uh, cross coupled uh, latch out here uh, this is the clock and, and this is the set uh, this is reset and this is the uh, clock here right so i uh, do a simulation uh, i put the uh, clock signal out here i put the set signal here i put the uh, reset signal and let me plot the output q also right uh, let me add plot planes here add let me uh, first uh, take the clock out here and then this is the set and this is the uh, reset now uh, initially clock is zero so nothing is happening here and now here the clock is going high so you have set and a reset uh, both are zero so the uh, sr latch it continues to remain in uh, whatever was the uh, previous state that is uh, continue it continues to remain there and now here if you see here uh, now the clock is low out here like a set is going high here but that is, it is not setting the uh, flip flop because the clock is uh, off out here so if the clock it will be set to one only when both the clock and the set signals are one here so both are one here the output is getting uh, slaves uh, no, slave to one out here uh, and then uh, similarly you have uh, here you have the set going down reset going high uh, but then the clock is low here but it is retaining whatever was there when the clock was high it was one so it is now retaining that value here but when the clock is going high then the reset signal is high so it is uh, capturing it is going to zero here okay this uh, last condition is not valid where i have given uh, r and r both one okay so if you see here uh, both of them have to be on uh, to set it and both of these have to be on to uh, reset it so uh, this is how uh, we do an uh, check of an uh, d latch and uh, verify the uh, performance uh, through these kind of uh, plots okay uh, so in your assignment i uh, expect you to give a schematic like this uh, i will just run it and uh, plot the uh, output okay uh, so uh, all that you need to do is uh, you can uh, do it in uh, on a multi sim also if required and you can uh, send me that file now i'll run it uh, run it in multi sim okay uh, no matter uh, no problem <coughs> so uh, you need to uh, write your name in the schematic out here okay uh, th so that i know uh, and then you you don't keep sending uh, no, um, uh, okay when i give the assignment i'll give detailed instructions see all these schematics needs to be put into one folder name it as per your uh, uh, roll number and then uh, upload that okay so let me close that window and let me open up a uh, sr latch here okay now uh, here what i am uh, doing is here uh, i have given uh, this width as w i have not defined it i am going to do a parametric sweep uh, w here the, these four uh, w all 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 i am giving it as uh, w out here so i am using this step uh, parameter where uh, initially i am going to use uh, uh, 400 uh, nano as the width and then uh, finally i am going to use at 800 nano so i have given a step size 400 so it will do uh, two runs one with 400 nano and one with uh, 800 nano so if i uh, run a simulation uh, if i uh, plot a clock here uh, and then i plot the set uh, reset and uh, q here No, uh, this is Q, this is set, this is uh, reset. Okay, and now uh, if you see here, okay, now uh, here you will find 
the reset is uh, high out here right uh, but uh, this green line indicates for 400 uh, uh, th this the width of these transistors are only 400 nano so if it is 400 nano the it this is only being uh, brought uh, not to the full uh, zero value but it, it is just gonna uh, come uh, to some value which is even uh, above the uh, halfway mark and now when the clock is going uh, low uh, it is again uh, going back to its uh, previous stage which is erroneous okay so it is not so you have to bring this to the uh, no, as close to uh, zero so here if i use an uh, 800 nano then this output voltage will be pulled to zero here and then when the clock goes uh, low also that will be retained here now if you see here why it is going uh, now this node we are not trying it to pull it to zero we are uh, leaving slightly it, it is if you see here when i am using a uh, 400 odd out here <coughs> Uh, so uh, this is coming uh, only to 1.13 this voltage out here right uh, that means if i go back to my schematic when this is high this is high uh, when if i use only 400 nanometer out here okay this is this is stronger out here this is now weaker out here so this is coming only till 1.3 volts out here right so uh, 1.13 volt now uh, when the clock is going uh, low out here this 1.13 volt okay uh, this 1.13 volt which is uh, uh, available at, at, at Q out here right so th this voltage also will not uh, 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 this 1.13 will uh, re keep this end transistor on okay and hence uh, uh, this will be low and 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 since you have an uh, feedback out here since since this is uh, uh, going to be uh, low out here right this transistor will be uh, on and you will find uh, this output node through this pmos it will get uh, recharged back to one so it, it is it is going back to that state so that is the uh, important of uh, sizing in an sr latch these two transistors have to pull this node when if i have to reset it i have to pull this down voltage to zero overcoming this uh, uh, pmos uh, size okay so that is the what uh, we just saw through this our uh, simulation okay so the sizes of these have to be uh, chosen uh, correctly okay so uh, that was about uh, now no uh, there's uh, one more uh, schematic uh, this is a D latch okay the same uh, D latch we, we just uh, learnt in our uh, theory uh, this is an inverter this is an uh, pass transistor uh, uh, complementary pass transistor uh, one more inverter and and Q uh, so when the uh, clock is high uh, this is this uh, is on so D becomes transparent it is available at Q when the clock goes low uh, this gets switched off and uh, this particular uh, a pass transistor uh, switch switches on so you have two inverters which are connected back to back so if I uh, run the uh, uh, yeah you need to submit only the uh, uh, no report is required only the schematics is good enough okay now clock and then uh, Q here so uh, here if you see here uh, whenever the clock is high uh, it is transparent so whatever is happening to uh, D out here uh, is being reflected here in the output okay uh, and whereas here the clock is low out here and D is changing but this is uh, able this latch is you know, uh, capturing the data the last data which was available uh, prior to the clock going low so that it continues in that state when the clock is uh, low only when the clock is high the output again uh, follows the uh, d input okay so this is important that when i say it is transparent it is only transparent when the clock is high it is not transparent always right if it is transparent always then it becomes a buffer right it's not a, uh, it's not a latch at all latch means it will uh, store that data when the clock is low so that data will be preserved here so here it is working as a uh, storage device or it is known as an uh, hold state okay and this is known as the uh, read state where it is going to uh, read the uh, data so this is how an uh, latch functionality can be uh, simulated then uh, you also uh, i have made something this is known as a uh, flip-flop so this is a master slave flip-flop 
so if if i uh, run this simulation i put a d here and uh, let me put uh, clock and then let me put uh, q yeah okay Uh, so this is the data uh, this is the uh, clock now if you see this clock is going high uh, in the go, uh, high uh, in this edge when the clock is this positive edge triggered so this high the data is one so that is being captured out here now uh, 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 during the clock high this data is making a transition but uh, that is not uh, being reflected here right because it is captured the data only during the uh, uh, rising uh, uh, edge okay uh, similarly uh, here also during the rising edge the data is zero uh, uh, so uh, so so uh, no, uh, so this is going to uh, zero this this is the clock so here again the clock is going uh, high uh, what's happening is there some uh, error out here uh, no, uh, it is capturing in fact in the uh, negative edge of the clock. Oh, sorry, so this is a negative edge. So, in the negative edge of the uh, clock out here, this data it is going to this is the, again the uh, next negative edge of the clock. Okay, so now if here, if you see here in this particular uh, case, the clock is going negative out here and data is going positive. Nevertheless, the output is, uh, is available is uh, zero. That is because you see uh, this is known as the uh, setup time okay now this data is changing uh, whereas negative edge is here right so negative edge is here so it is capturing the data which was available uh, previous if i go to my uh, schematic uh, like i discussed here the, the 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 data is going high but for that high uh, to come till this place here okay till the it, it, there is certain propagation delay right that is what we learnt in today's theory class so you will find here here the clock is going low uh, data is going high but nevertheless it is catching the data which was prior to that because it requires a certain uh, setup time so that is you can see clearly here see because of the uh, setup time here so uh, uh, the uh, similar uh, so this is not this data which is going high is not being captured by the uh, flip flop out here is it okay uh, it's in the falling edge okay this in uh, everything is happening in the falling edge out here right so this is a uh, falling edge uh, flip flop uh, is it uh, uh, okay is there any doubts if there are no doubts i uh, will uh, call it off today okay thanks a lot